Halo 4 was fucking bad. Halo 4. Halo was 4 bad. was just yeah. Halo 4 was just. I lit. I literally fucking. I lost interest like in the franchise. At Halo 4, that was so fucking bad. I didn't mind Reach too much. I mean, Reach was pretty solid, I think. Reach was good. I liked Reach. For, yeah, like I liked Reach for the most part. Yeah, I didn't I had... really like the you know. One of my, one of like my biggest gripes with Reach was like the sprinting shit. Was like the sprinting, and you know, like it, like, it was like abilities you had. And back in Halo 3, like there was no like abilities. But the reason why I hate Halo 4 so much is they introduce fucking loadouts. It is like, dude, this is Halo. This isn't fucking Call of Duty, okay? That was like my biggest gripe with it. Halo, wait, Halo became Call of Duty. You're saying? Yeah, kind of, because, like, Halo 4 started doing the freaking loadouts and shit like that, and I fucking hated it. Like, it's like, dude, freaking, don't do loadouts. It's like, this is Halo, not Call of Duty. Oh. And it just, like, like, and that really pissed me off about Halo 4. It was the whole freaking oh, loadout thing. That's what really pissed me off about it. It's pretty gay. Oh, alright, cool. That's looking good. Are you playing Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, I'm playing... Well, I'm downloading Yu-Gi-Oh, but I'm playing Dead Space. Yu-Gi-Oh is a fucking trash tier franchise, dude. What? It's Are fu you fucking crazy? <laughs> if the protagonist fucking never loses, it's boring. I love that. I love the protagonist that never loses. That shit's my favorite. No, wait, like, like, it's too predictable, man. Well, I mean, that's why you watch the other people's matches, like Joey or, like, Kaiba or, like, any of those guys. It gets kind of... Harry for them, but isn't Kaiba like like the big ass dick of the franchise? Yeah, he's a fucking asshole guy. <laughs> he's my favorite character. He's so good. I mean, he's the best character in the show, to be honest. No, freaking like like it's clearly fucking Yugi, dude. Fucking, he never loses. It's clearly Yugi. But the thing is, he it's not really him winning. It's his alter ego winning. He has to transform. Yo, what up, Matt? How you doing, bro? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Yo, is Ops in there yet? Is Ops here? No. Hold. No, allow all comments. Well, I'm just uh, selecting the game that I'm playing so that it shows up properly when it uh, recommends it to people. Oh, they're making a Dead Space remake, dude. Pre should be pretty good. Dead Space 2. I have all the Dead Space games, but I never, like, I only played the first Dead Space before. Oh, that's the best pretty one. Pretty good. It's, it's amazing. Um, uh, I have Dead all the Dead Space games. Dead Space 2 is really good, also. Dead Space 3 is still good, but the story is not as good. Um, Alright, cool. Everything's ready. Alright, guys. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Sorry for the wait. I just had to uh, make sure that all of my like YouTube and Twitch stuff was set up, but now that we're good, uh, I'm, I'm ready to play this game that never ends, dude. I don't think this game will ever end, to be honest with you. Uh, we've been playing this game for like two months straight. Uh, and I was like, oh, let me just beat this game. It'll be real quick. Two months later. Yo, hey, dude. Yeah. Hey, dude, like, like that Harry Potter game uh, comes out, I think, February February something, right? It falls on a Friday. Yeah. That's going to be great. I'll it be really, playing that good. shit when I get it home. It looks really good, actually. Yeah, like, it'll honestly probably be like a day one buy for me. And just buy it on fucking Friday. I'll literally oh, download, that, fucking download that shit in the morning. Get home and play it. Do you know what that smell is? Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> what smell? Is it my dogs? Are they shitting? Um, yeah, I mean, the Harry Potter game looks good. I'm definitely not going to buy it unless it's like $5 or something. But Fair enough. But, dude, I'm, like, not a fan. I'm a, it looks I'm a good, huge though. Harry Potter fan, so like, it'll probably, like, like, it will literally be like a day one buy for me, probably. It, looks it will good. literally be like a day one buy. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. It does look like a good game. Yo, Victor, I literally dropped... Four hundred dollars to upgrade my computer to be able to play it. Okay, so if that should tell you anything. Four hundred dollars. Yeah. Just to play this shitty fucking game. Fuck you. <laughs> I had to update. I had to update the freaking graphics card and my power supply. Cause like, uh, my power supply was actually too weak to run my card. It was too weak, so I had to get a, a fucking new power supply. Your power supply was too weak. Yeah. I had a freaking six hundred watt unit. I need a fucking 700 watt. Yeah. Like, it's also better quality too, like, I had like a white PSU, like, 
these ones are gold, so it's a lot better quality. But dude, it was a fucking pain in the ass to fucking change it out though. Change it was a fucking pain. Uh, sensory power overload supply. or sensory deprivation? Uh, definitely sensory deprivation. You know, there there are some things in my life that I wish I never saw. You know what I mean? And for for me, that's yeah, sensory like, overload. Yeah. Yeah, like it's your face. Yeah, or or DJ's DJ's penis. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> um, what the fuck? Oh, is this the final boss? Yes, dude. It's the same final boss as Dead Space One, actually. Pretty cool. But um. Yeah, what about you guys? Sensory overload or sensory deprivation? I'm definitely gonna go with deprivation. You know, because I feel like depriving yourself of some stuff is good sometimes. Cause like if you get everything you want all the time when you want, then you just become a spoiled brat. So you? I'm spoiled? <laughs> yeah. No, what? How am I spoiled? Bruh. <laughs> Is that even a question? I'm not spoiled. Dude, I'm from fucking New Jersey. I'm not used to having anything. <laughs> we had nothing in Jersey, bro. It okay, was a shit okay, ball. okay. I was spoiled, okay? Am I a dickhead? Eh, maybe, but... Kinda. Where's yeah, Becca? But... She's in Dominican Republic, dude. What a shithole. No, like... <laughs> no, I'm joking. I heard it's actually pretty nice over there. Kind of, I've, I've actually been there, and uh, I thought it was a shithole. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I, I went to the beach. What is it? Punta Cana is where I went. And uh, I didn't like it, um, but I hear the capital's fun. I forget what the name of the capital is. Um, San Juan or something Mexican-sounding. I don't know. Mexican-sounding boy. <laughs> But yeah, Zeka's in Dominican Republic right now, so lucky her. Who the fuck is blowing up my Discord right now? Yeah, she's coming back Thursday, she said, but um but yeah guys, nah, she said she loves the stream, so you guys yo, good job. Yo, yo, like hey, mm -hmm. she's been fucking there a lot. Like the fuck's going on, man? <laughs> Nothing, dude. If you say oh. so, Chief. Oh my god, I have to remove the fucking alien from my eyes. Yo, Victor, like, 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 I'm not gonna lie, dude, but I'm calling Cap on that, but okay. On what? On fucking, why is she always there now? On what? <laughs> why is she always at your house now? Oh, this is fucking crazy. Oh, no. Dude, no, there's nothing going on. Uh, okay, uh, if you say so, buddy. I gotta dig so. into my own eye and remove the alien. Oh, that's so gross, dude. <laughs> oh, that's so nasty! <laughs> oh, this fucking game is amazing. I love this game. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck. I almost died right there. Oh, shit, boy. But now I can't see shit. I had to dig into my own eyeball. Nice. Ugh. Oh. I had to dig into my own eye to remove the alien from my brain. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking metal, dude. That is hardcore, bro. I'll be waiting for you at the markup. What do I do? Where is it? Thanks, my dead wife. <laughs> oh, that was so metal. But yeah, Zeka's in DR right now. I've actually been there once. I went to Punta Cana. Um, whoa, whoa, there's fucking zombies here. Yo, yo, dude. At some point, like, yo, yo, Victor, do you have, like, do you have, like, weekends off, dog, or not? Nah? Yeah, I do have weekends off, actually. Oh, nice. So, do we, what, what we need to do is you need to stream on a what weekend and play some Left 4 Dead. Yo, dude, we gotta go back to the old days, dude. Play Left 4 Dead. Go back to the old days and play some Left 4 Dead. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, I'm down, you know, like, I'm always down to play Left 4 Dead, of course. Yeah, like, I love that game. Yeah, as long as it's not Cancer it. Versus, which I really can't say I blame you. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna play Versus, though, sorry. <laughs> Pay no sweat? Yeah, it's Pay just, no it's just a lot of sweat. Like, some games, you just sweat <laughs> a little bit, you know? <laughs> but in Left 4 Dead, you have to sweat a lot. <laughs> just to be, like, okay. Like... <laughs> The skill cap for that game is really high for the for the zombie side, um, and even for the human side, you have to be pretty skillful. Like you can chop a smoker's tongue while it's coming at you with a machete if you're fast enough, you know. So like, yeah. I mean, I respect the people that can do that, but man, I just do not have the time to to, to practice and play that much fucking left. Yeah, game. yeah, dude. It's like like I'm not even gonna lie, bro. Like, I can usually deal with. Maybe a single virtue like fucking versus game and I'm like dude. No, I'm going back to campaign. Fuck this shit Yeah, I hate that shit so much If you had two therapists meet each other would they have a therapy battle and see who would be the see Yeah, for Patrick <laughs> Yeah, yeah Patrick versus Zeka in a fight together. Um, that would be awesome They would probably fight to the death I think and then whoever's the strongest would win uh, and they would have to Who thinks about a therapist? Oh, that's, I don't know. I've never talked to any of Zeka's customers. I've only talked to Patrick's customers, and they're like, What yeah, did they say great. about him? They said he's awesome. They're like, yeah, he's a great therapist. Um, you know, because they're, 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 they are good therapists, from what I hear from, well, from Patrick's customers. And from what I hear from Suzanne, I mean, knowing, I mean, uh, Zeka, knowing her, I know that, you know, she's going to be doing good. She's going to be doing a good job also. Because they're, they're just well, both, the, like, huh? Well, that's more than what I can say about my fucking job. <laughs> well, you're not good at your job? Eh, uh, fucking hit or miss. You just don't fucking feel like doing the work, probably. Yeah, sounds about right. It's just the same shit over and over again, dude. It's like the same shit. I get Ugh. it, man. I totally get it. I am How's your job going? I'm um, pretty good. I had a good day yesterday, so we'll see how it goes today. Tuesday, and then tomorrow, and then I'm off again, so. There you um, go. I need to hurry up and finish my book because I need to study for the CCNA, blah, blah, blah. But I'm not going to do it until I finish my book, so I need to hurry up and get that shit finished. Um, just because there is a lot that I want to study at the job, about my job, that, I don't know. I have to, like, focus. I mean, when you know, you know when you're studying for the CCNA, you have to hyper-focus on that shit. When I, when I study for that CCNA, dude, like... I played like my surf for like a month in advance, dude. I didn't play any video games, nothing for like a month. That was just straight fucking studying, dude. That was just straight studying. Yeah. Yeah, like it was kind of rough. Yeah, I hear that, bro. That's how it's gotta be, though. How's your job going? You zombie fuck. How many of these sons of bitches are there? God dang. How's your job going, Chief? My job? Yeah. It's going great, actually. That's good. Pretty good. Fuck this guy. Um, yeah, I mean, I had a good day yesterday. Ugh. Yeah, like, my job's going. Probably need a new one soon, but you neither fucking neither here nor there. Um, I mean that's pretty important. I think that's here and there. That's kind of a big deal to get a new job. Oh yeah, fuck! Like... It's right behind me! Get the fuck away from me, you bastard! I cannot kill this thing. This thing doesn't die. There's an unkillable enemy in this fucking game. Uh, nice. Yo, what up, codename ULP? All right, Ops is here, oh, by the way. Oh, Ops is here. Yo, Ops, how's your job going, Chief? DJ says hi. How's your job going, Chief? I mean, Clover. 
Uh, you won't <laughs> this kid at my school just killed himself and his mom was a therapist. Like, how does that happen? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Dude, I that's mean, a rip, dude. That's a big rip, dude. I mean, I get kinda... I get how, like, as a therapist, you can't uh, therapize your own friends and your own family. But, I mean, surely you learn something in therapy that you can apply to your, uh, you know, relationships, right? So what the fuck happened there? <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, you know, it, it's also that there, there, it, there really are a bunch of shitty therapists. That's true. There are, dude. Like, most of them are shit tier, dude. Yeah, I mean, we were talking about that last time, how, you know, DJ was like, yeah, fuck therapists, they suck. And it's like, that's true. Most of them do suck. Most of them are just like, yes, man. They just want to tell you yes for everything, you know? Yeah, 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 whatever. They're more lawyers, fucking, most of them suck. Come here, you fuck. Oh god, I gotta... Oh. Fuck, dude. I gotta play God of War soon again. Just finished lifting, nice bro. Respect. Who? Uh, codename? Nice, good for good shit, dude. Good shit. You gotta do, man. You gotta, you gotta keep up with that shit. You gotta work out, man. Um, yeah, I don't know. A lot of therapists really do suck, though. So maybe it was just a therapist that sucked ass. You know, um, a lot of people are just a lot of parents are just so busy with their job that they never talk to their kids. You know, they don't know anything. Yeah, sounds about, about right. And with the drug, oh, god damn this motherfucker! Get away from me, you son of a bitch! <laughs> and uh, you know, with the drugs epidemic the way it is, like a lot of parents don't talk to their kids, and instead of having a parent to talk to, all the kid has is drugs to turn to. You know, <clears throat> so the kid was probably high as fuck or something. I don't know. Oh my fucking god! Whoa, whoa. Dude, this game is mother this game is nuts, dude. This game is absolutely crazy, dude. Take that, you bastard. Open the damn door! <laughs> Fuck, dude! Oh my god, this game is crazy, bro. Can I blow this thing away? I miss. I just completely miss. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Yo, dude, like, yo, Victor, like, I'll talk to you later, dude. All right, bro, I'll see you, man. See ya. Oh my god, this game is so crazy. Do you remember me from a few streams ago? Yeah, Mike Michael, what's good, bro? Yeah, man, we've had some serious conversations, bro. There's no way I'm gonna forget, bro. Um. Dude, check out the trailer to Triangle of Sadness. All right, what do we got going on over here? Triangle of Sadness. Okay, let's check it out. Um, so I have Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links loading in the background. Um, Triangle of Sadness. What, what is this? Is it a movie? Okay, cool. It's a movie. A cruise ship for super rich kids. Yeah, I saw the menu and it also took place on a cruise ship. It has Woody Harrelson. Okay. Bruh, how did I not know about this movie? Is it a horror? It's like a survival uh, movie. Woody Harrelson. Does it have Il Ibis Ildra? <laughs> Looks pretty good. 
Um, my job is going well. That's good, man. Just finished lifting not too long ago. Nice. That's important, dude. You got to you got to be working out out here, bro. That's so important for the male, you know, testosterone levels and all that shit. A fashion model celebrity couple join an eventful cruise for the super rich. And then they all end up like on a freaking stranded on an island. <laughs> Uh, it's only about 60 pounds. That's as heavy as my barbell. That's fine. Yeah, just do low weights. That's what I do. I do low weights, high repetition. I really don't do a whole lot of uh, of weight. What the hell? <laughs> I saw the menu. The menu was good. Runway casting for a grumpy brand or a smiley brand? A smiley brand. Congratulations. Show me that Balenciaga look. Let me see that ass, babies. In something way less expensive. It's H&M. Yay! That's funny. So it's like a comedy. for the tickets. Not bad, huh? So what do you do? I sell shit. The success of a luxury cruise mainly depends. They end up stranded. This is really, really bad. Yeah, I need to watch this, and I need to watch that Once Upon a Time in Hollywood movie. Uh, yeah, I I'm so glad that we have good movies again, honestly. Because for the longest time, it was just shit movies, bro. But I feel like good movies are coming back now after COVID, I guess. Maybe we just had to wait for COVID. Uh, but I feel like good movies have returned. What the fuck? Whoa, okay, all right. I really could use a grenade launcher right now. Oh my god, get me the fuck out of here! God damn it, you son of a bitch game. I just got completely fucked, dude. Um, I gotta aim for a hundred. That's fine. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. If you can increase, take your time. I mean, yeah, increase increase weight for sure, but uh, don't rush yourself. You're fine on low rep, dude. It's really not that big a deal. You ever read Bram Stoker's Dracula? I got a $7 collection of Dracula, Frankenstein, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Nice, dude. Yeah, I started reading, reading uh, 1001 Nights, uh, the Arabian Nights uh, collection, which is a really fun. It's a really good book, actually, so far. <clears throat> Uh, do you want an update on my situation? Yeah, dude, for sure. With the drama, right? Because you had your dad and stepdad drama, dude. That sucks, bro. Yeah, bro, what's going on, man? Uh, lay it on me, dog. Look at the trailer. It's insane. Yeah, I, I'm so glad we're getting good movies again. I ordered a biography on Vlad Three Dracula. Yeah, wasn't he an Orthodox? or a, He was a, a Eastern Orthodox. And he was just killing Muslims. Pretty based. He was given the moniker Impaler by enemies, but was essential for the repelling of Turks in Wallachia, right? Pretty based. He just killed a bunch of Muslims. You'd be surprised by how many good movies are coming out each year. I'm really happy that they are, because I thought for a while it was just going to be a bunch of, like, Marvel movies. I mean, I'm so tired. You guys already know I've complained about freaking superhero movies ad nauseum on this stream. <sighs> But yeah, I'm so sick of freaking superhero movies. I'm so glad that we're getting actual movies now. 
Fuck this. Get the hell off of me, you son of a bitch. What is this? I only started getting interested in Dracula and vampires because this YouTuber made a video on vampire biology. Uh, an hour even came up with and even came up with a scientific explanation as why they're scared of crosses. Yeah. I guess because, I mean, it was a really Christian thing going on for sure. I mean, back when the vampire myth became, um, like, well, like when the myth was created, um, it was like the medieval era. And that's when everybody in Europe was Catholic, like everybody. This was like before the Protestant Reformation, like 15, before the 1500s, you know, where you were either Catholic or Eastern Orthodox. Um... But then, unfortunately, the Eastern Orthodox got freaking wiped out by the Muslims, so. Uh, this is the video, okay. Skip to the 1211 for the cross explanation. You ever seen the movie Butt Boy? <laughs> no. <laughs> Butt Boy, the movie? Okay. I mean, is that like a... <laughs> it kind of sounds like a gay porn, I'm not going to lie. Butt Boy movie. All right, what do we got going on over here? Butt boy, awesome, dude. So what do you do? Detective. This movie looks pretty good. You look like every detective ever. Oh, yes. How? He's got the, the greasy hair and the, uh, the earring. <laughs> looks good. You look good. What about you? What? What do you do? I kill people, dude. He fucking kills people. Oh Potential no! Tragedy dude. strikes Critica County today as law enforcement have yet to make any headway on the missing child that vanished from Kathman Park this morning. So you're asking me to go off this theory you got about a white married male who happens to be a father living in the suburbs of Critica County. Also have yeah, Marvel's running on fumes. I'm so glad that it's finally dying. There, there's so many less Marvel movies now. And children up his ass. Then he somehow digests them. And he does this in sprees. He puts children up his ass? <laughs> Almost in serial killer fashion. Is that about Ali it? Alibaba is in the Arabian Nights. Yes, he's in the second part of the Arabian Nights. He was added on later. So Arabian Nights was written in like the 900, like before the year 1000. Like, And it was probably based off of stories even earlier than that. But I think the earliest copy we have of Arabian Nights is in the year 900. And uh, the Aladdin stuff was added way later, like in the 1800s. It was added to it, but... It is now, now it is part of Arabian Nights. The whole Alibaba thing and uh, Aladdin and Sinbad. Marvel is running on fumes. I remember there being a Popeye uh -huh. episode with Bluto being Alibaba and Popeye being the hero to stop him from the band of Arab thieves. It's badass, dude. Yeah, I, I got both of the books. I got part one and two, so I'm going to read Alibaba as well. Yo, this movie looks so good. Ew, what the fuck? He's shoving people up his own ass? I've never seen so much ass in a movie before from a man. I've never seen men's asses. Nice. Few man from Marvel. He's the man <laughs> when you just have no fucking ideas. He's a superhero that has good ideas for superheroes. That's what his power is. His power is that he actually <laughs> can write a good superhero movie. That That's what we really need. We need a superhero that knows how to write really well because these writers in Hollywood suck ass right now. We need somebody with a superpower that they can actually write a movie properly. That would be amazing. Imagine that. Imagine someone had the power to write a good movie for Netflix. <laughs> uh, Black Mirror was good. I'm not going to lie. I like Black Mirror. I liked A Good Place. I thought A Good Place was actually really good. 
Um. Oh my god, this fucking bullshit. Where the hell am I supposed to go now? Time to get the fuck out of here. Damn, that was crazy. Um, Bella Lugosi looks so good as Dracula, even though I only saw a few scenes. I think I know who you're talking about. The vampire is an interesting thing to look into. I agree, actually. Um, I think it's really cool. You know, like, I fucking wish I was a vampire. Turning off the gravity? Okay. So it says to go that way. <gasps> Fucking hell. Oh, I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive somehow. Whoa, I'm getting shot. You fuck. All right, so far so good. It's locked. All right, there we go. Easy, dude. It was too easy, bro. Um, can't wait to watch the movie tonight. Wait, what are you watching? Uh Oh, Dracula, Dracula, Dracula. Nothing has happened yet, but I fear that it still might, yeah. The problem with worrying like that, though, Mike Michael, is that you make it twice as hard for yourself, right? Because, okay, even if you know that it's going to happen, let's say you knew for a fact it was going to happen, right? What's the point of worrying about it if it's going to happen anyway? Now you feel bad because you're worrying about it, and then you're going to feel bad when it actually happens. In my opinion, the better attitude is, uh, you know, I will feel bad about it when it happens. You know what I mean? But since it hasn't even happened yet, I don't think you should be feeling bad about it. That's my opinion. Of course, feel however you want to feel. Like, don't let me pressure you. Um, this is just my opinion. Don't let me pressure you. Uh, you have the right to feel however the fuck you want to feel, man. You really do. Um, but I guess just from my experiences, I feel like, um, from my experiences, I feel like it's, um, what the fuck is this sound coming from my discord all the time? Uh, it's for, from my experience, it's that when you worry about something, you cause yourself twice the pain. You know what I mean? Like it's going to happen anyway. So screw it. Just let it happen and then feel bad. Feel bad about it when it happens. Ooh, mute channel. Huh, I know what I have to do. I have to mute all these like bots. I just joined a I just joined a, a Discord server that has a bunch of bots. I think that's what I have to mute the bots. That's what's going on. Uh what's that? Imagine if there was a romance college. A Romanian college nutrition professor named Dr. Vlad Dacula. Dr. Acula. He would be allergic to garlic and he would drink wine and Beetlejuice. Yeah, and he would be Muslim also because he couldn't stand next to a cross. There we go. All right, I muted all the channels. We should be good now. I think. Raid reports. Screw it. Um. Okay, we're good now. Let's get back to the game. Um... 
Interesting. So when did Aladdin originate? That's a great question. I mean, the thing is that even the original 900 version, when it came out, the book came out, I think it's based off of a story that happened before 900s, you know? So even though it was written and added to Arabian Nights, I think Aladdin might have actually originated way earlier, you know? When was Aladdin written, you know? When was Aladdin written? It's a great question, actually. Let's see. Aladdin may be a more recent invention. Scholars have not found a manuscript of the story that predates the version published in 1712. So we haven't, the earliest copy that we have is 1712. Uh, who wrote in his diary that he first heard the tale from a Syrian storyteller from Aleppo named Hannah Diab on 1709. Okay. So, I mean, you know, he heard it from a story. It's probably a story that goes way, way back, you know. These are like word of mouth stories. So it's really hard to say exactly when it originated. Um, the same time, 1800s. Around that, 1700s looks like it was first written down. Even though vampire lore is intriguing and whatnot, I'd still rather be a werewolf. Fuck yeah, dude. I love dogs. I'd love to be a werewolf, to be honest. I actually read something today. I read Dr. Faustus, and it's very interesting. I don't know who that is. Was he like a Nazi guy? Like, it was written in the late 1500s, so it has some Renaissance humanism and Reformation details one could discuss. Dr. Faustus. Is that a book? Dr. Faustus. Um, it was written in the late 1500s. Okay. One of the ideas explored in the story is the concept of predestination, which was a concept introduced by Calvinism. Yep. Which was on the rise at the time. Namely, that your fate is predetermined. Nothing you can do will change your fate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Uh, which is explored in the story. That's interesting, actually. Faustus sells his soul for fame and power, and he is able to use magic for 24 years. That's crazy, dude. Sounds like a good story, actually. Fuck. I'm going crazy over here. Uh, I hate, I have Calvin's Institutes of Christian Religion, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Calvinists are some of the more, um, intelligent Protestants that I've ever, uh, had like debates with and stuff. They definitely know their stuff. Um, I gotta say. <clears throat> of the different Protestants that I've, like, debated in the past. I have to say Calvinists have given me the hardest time. Uh, let's see. It sucks that Zekka isn't here because I needed to ask her for advice on something else. Um, yeah, I'll see if she can come back next week. Uh, the thing is, she's in Dominican Republic right now. But, you know, if I told her that you guys were asking about her, she would definitely want to come back. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, thanks. Like, she said that she had such a fun time hanging out. So, you know. Oof. So, yeah, thank you guys um, for keeping things, you know, keeping things up, uh, keeping interacting and, you know, blowing up chat and hanging out. Like, thank you guys for hanging out because... Uh, Zeka had a really good time. She said she had a lot of fun hanging out with you guys. So that's why she wanted to come back, you know. It's because you guys because you guys were so cool. That's literally why. <clears throat> so yeah, she's she's always she was asking like, "Oh, hey, are you going to do the stream? Are you going to do the stream?" Like she wants to come and do the stream. Yeah, she loves doing the stream because uh, you guys you guys keep it lively, man. But uh, she said that, <clears throat> you know, she's like, yeah, let me know when you're doing the stream. Like, she'll come over and we can do the stream. So, yeah, I'll definitely let her know you said that. And that will probably, you know, like convince her to come hang out again uh, next time we next next week. Well, we'll try to get her back for next week. How about that?
cool. There we go. Um, I have a fear that I'll get exposed to something degenerate and then develop a kink for it. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, no, 100%. You should be worried about that. Um, you should always be on guard about what your eyes are seeing and what your ears are hearing, you know? You should be like, oh, no, that's not for me, you know? No, I'm not. No, 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 I'm not listening to that. Or I'm not getting involved in this conversation. This is a fucking degenerate conversation. Or I'm not hanging out with this person. This person's a piece of shit, you know? Um, or the ideas. You have to really pick your friends because you become like the people that you hang out with. So you should be guarded about the things that you see and the things that you hear. You really should think about that. So that's that's a good thing. I mean... I mean, yeah, it sucks and it's kind of annoying to have to worry about that, but I think it's a good thing to worry about, to be honest with you. I think it's a good thing to worry about. It sucks. It's It gives you anxiety maybe to think about that, but at the end of the day, uh, you would you would rather you would rather be careful and you would rather have, you know, saved your eternal soul than let your soul and let your mind rot away with, you know degenerate shit on tv or on the radio or degenerate people you know you really gotta you really gotta stay on guard with that shit so i think that's a good thing that you i I think that's a good fear to have i think that's a good thing that you you know like there's a lot of bullshit that people worry about that doesn't matter but i think that's one of the things that actually does matter upgrade your charge okay (laughs) Dude, I cannot upgrade anything anymore, dude. I've upgraded everything that I have. Yeah, I, I've upgraded all of my damage to maximum. Fucking based. There's like nothing really left to upgrade. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Looks like I'm good to go, dude. I've pretty much beaten the game already at this point. Um, wait, what's going on in chat over here? Uh, yeah, I'll let Zeka know. I'll see if she can come back next week. Fun fact, the Lutheran branch of Protestantism got accepted as a legal religion after the signing of the peace of August 1555. The Calvinist movement wasn't until way later. The Edict of Nantes was the legislation that legalized Calvinism in 150 French cities. Of course, in France, the Calvinists were called the Huguenots. Yeah, <clears throat> they were pretty crazy. And everyone hated the Anabaptists, especially after hearing that same thing happen to Jupiter. I'm worried that it will happen to me. <clears throat> um. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um. But, I mean, you know, even if it does happen, let's say it does happen, let's say it slips through the cracks, right, and it happens, um, there will always be um, checks and balances in your own head, you know? Like, I think perverted things sometimes, right? But I control myself. Uh, I'm like, oh, maybe I shouldn't say that, you know? Maybe I shouldn't comment on, you know, how cute that girl looks. I'm not going to say anything, you know? So, you know, even if you, like, have weird kinks... Um, that doesn't mean that you have to act on them. Uh, I think that self-control will always be a very important virtue. Wait, what am I doing? No, me. Yeah. I think self-control will always be an important virtue. Um, I think that's something we should really, we should really think about. Wait, what the hell? What is this gun? Okay. So the javelin has run out of bullets. So if I upgrade my capacity on my javelin gun, I'll get full ammo back. Cool. Um, neat. I guess I have full ammo on all my guns now. 
Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if you do develop a kink, right? Um, there's just something in, in life that you can't control. Um, and I don't think you should be too hard on yourself. Um, yeah, unfortunately, there are some things in life that you can't fully control. <clears throat> and I think that's okay. Uh, I think as long as you... Uh, you know, even let's say if you do run into a kink one day that you didn't want, um, I still think it's important to, like, have enough awareness of what's going on in your head. Like, like, oh, yeah, like, I, I shouldn't, you know, spank her butt even though it looks really nice. <laughs> like, you should always be thinking about that, I feel like. I mean, not always, always that you drive yourself crazy, but... There, you, you should always, you know, think about what you're doing. You should always think about yourself about you should always think i guess reflect is what i'm trying to say you should always reflect on your actions that's what i'm trying to say um wait what about the amish people which then became amish the anabaptists were the amish and the anglican church was a compromise between calvinist and catholic values interesting the calvinists wanted the catholic influence eradicated and they were called puritans Interesting. The Puritans were Calvinists. Wow. In our Renaissance to Revolutions of 1848 class, we learned about the Thirty Years' War. That was a crazy one, yeah. Uh, Junkers, the Catholic Protestant divide, Industrial Revolution, Enlightenment, Geocentrism, and Aristotelian cosmology. That's a good class. Ether and all that stuff. Yeah, that's all the Greek stuff, yeah. I'm genuinely in the de in the dark on this, and I want to know more so I can keep my sanity safe. I mean, yeah, hey, I, I respect that 100%. I think that's a very noble goal to have. <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, you know, I can ask Zekka about it for sure. I can definitely ask Zekka about it. Um, you know, I'm not a professional, but <clears throat> I I'd say I have a little bit of wisdom. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck, dude. I, I would say I have enough life experience to be able to, like, you know, help. But when it comes to professional stuff, that's true. I, I don't, you know, I am not a licensed professional therapist or anything like that, so. <clears throat> I couldn't claim anything like that. I'm getting shot by something. Something's trying to shoot me. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a good goal, though. Uh, it, it's good to to want to keep your sanity safe for sure. Um, I think that's a good, that's a noble goal. Um, like there are there are some things that give you anxiety that shouldn't, but there are some things that give you anxiety that are warranted. And I feel like you know if you're worried about you know the things you see on TV or like. Maybe the things you hear or on things you see in movies. You're watching Thor Ragnarok and then you see fucking Thor's ass. And now you're like gay. <laughs> you know, I you, you should want to be worried about that kind of stuff. So I, I think there are some good things to be anxious about. There are some good things to worry about because you don't know if they might happen and they're everywhere. <clears throat> like degeneracy nowadays is fucking everywhere. You know what I mean? So yeah, you should be worried about that. It's different from the thing with your stepdad, though, because I feel like you should not have to be worried about that because your dad seems like a pretty reasonable guy. And he's already seemed to move on from the relationship with your mom. So what the fuck, dude? So I feel like, you know, uh, if you worry about some things, you, you'll worry yourself to death. But when it comes to guarding your senses, guarding your sight, what, what you look at, what you hear, what you... in, in um, involve yourself with i think that's something important to worry about like i'm always whenever i hang out with people i'm like oh are you a good influence for me like that's always something that i think about when i meet new people whenever i meet new people i'm always thinking like are you a good influence for me you know if i'm around you would i become a better person or would i become a worse person if i'm around you you know so that's something i'm always thinking about to be honest with you <clears throat> so I, I do the same thing i'm always thinking about yeah, is this good for me or not you know uh, I'm genuinely in the dark. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, I'm, I mean, yeah, I'm trying to keep my sanity safe because people will drive you crazy too. Because Puritans wanted to purify the Anglican Church. Oh, they're Anglican. Oh, this motherfucker. Oh 
my god, let's get the hell out of here. Go, go, go! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> oh my god. Fuck, I'm getting comboed. Oh my god, this game is so crazy, dude. Oh, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Oh my god, this game just got really hard all of a sudden. Holy shit. Um, let's see. I hope you got the help and advice you need, Mike Michael. Definitely, dude. Yeah, we're all here for you, man. We all care, bro. We all care, dude. We're all here for you, brother. Correction, the piece of Augsburg, not August. There was subtle themes. There were subtle themes shown in cartoons of it. Wait, cartoons of what? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what cartoons? When James was in his prime. Yeah, dude, now he's like losing his hair, bro. Rip. And he opened a fucking stupid shitty band. Now he has a shitty band that sucks, dude. <laughs> He's gonna take you back to the past Before his fucking shitty hair <laughs> Before his fucking hairline started receding Uh, If you're aware of what it can do to your mind Can it still have a long standing effect on you And work like a virus <clears throat> Um, In my opinion, yeah Like in my opinion, there are some things that you can see it coming, and even when it hits you, it still has a negative effect on you. I think you can probably lessen the effect. Like, you know, if if you know in advance that you're going to see somebody die, right, maybe you can prepare yourself mentally for it. Instead of you're just walking down the street and you see somebody get hit by a bus, and it, you know, and it traumatizes you because... Part of it is a shock. Part of it is, whoa, I, w I did not see that coming. So I feel like if you're expecting it, you can you can lessen the blow a little bit, but I still think it's going to affect you if it's one of those negative things that we're talking about, you know what I mean? Like pornography or something. If somebody slips you some porn and you were not expecting it, you know? Or even if you were expecting it, even if you were expecting somebody to do that, to like show you porn. Even if you were expecting it, you might lessen the blow, but it still might mess with you a little bit. So I don't think you can completely get rid of the effects just by knowing that it's coming. Uh, I don't think you can completely get rid of the negative effects, but I think you can at least somewhat mitigate it, you know, a little bit, I would say. Whoa! God damn, I'm getting comboed by these fucking aliens. Hold on, there we go. Um, I think cartoons should be heavily policed. I agree. I think anything degenerate should be policed. Um... I think cartoons, yeah. Look up early influences. It's a perfect example of what we're talking about. Early influences. Is that on YouTube? What is that? Early influences. Is that on YouTube? You know what's bullshit? Losing your fucking hairline. <laughs> uh, it got so bad to the point where I couldn't get turned on by a real woman. Damn, bro. I'm sorry. That fucking sucks. I'm glad that Mike Michael is not trying to make the same mistake I did, yeah. Um, yeah, see, we would need Zekka here for something like that. Like, how to reverse it. I mean, there has to be a way to reverse it, you know what I mean? You know, like, dress a woman up, maybe put, put a cat ears on her or something, you know? Make her wear thigh-high socks or something. I don't know, whatever you're into. There's got to be some way to reverse it. If you don't get turned on by a real woman anymore, maybe have her give you head or something. I don't know. There's got to be something, I think. I don't know. I'm glad that Mike Michael. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it is a good idea. It's something you really should think about is like, what are, what, are, what are your influences, right? 
what it, what it, what are the media that you're exposed to? What are the TV shows you're watching, and how does it affect your mind? If you go into this, is it going to be a positive or negative experience for you? You should be thinking about those things for sure. So I think that's a good thing to think about. I mean, yeah, that's great. It's good. It's good that you're thinking about that. It's very good. Uh, he has a band now. Yeah, James Rolfe has a really shitty band, guys. Uh, dude, James is a dad. He's getting comfy with his dad bod. Yeah, he's so like, <laughs> he totally has dad bod. He's being a dork with his music. His music is so bad, dude. <laughs> All right, so what do we got? All right, we got a few videos to to react to here. So let's get started. Uh, I was just, I just had to catch up to chat real quick, but now that I'm all caught up in chat, we can check out the uh, vampire biology. The werewolves, dragons, yetis, giants, and other terrifying creatures lurk in every culture and across all recorded time. Yeah. And though societies rise and fall, it seems the tales of otherworldly creatures are harder to kill. There is likely no discernible patient zero when it comes to the disease of vampirism. When asked, historians and theologians may point to Lilith or Lilithu, a figure in both Hebrew and Babylonian mythology. In both stories, nocturnal sanguinary or blood eating is a common thread. As previously mentioned, the concept of the vampire is present in cultures around the world. The Strigoi in Russia, the Mananangal of the Philippines, the Jiangxi of China, the Caribbean Sokoyant. These monsters differ in many ways, but they share one common trait, a thirst for human blood. That's interesting that there's other vampire types around the world. I didn't know that. But it was the legends of 12th century Europe that truly cemented our modern conception of the vampire. It was this era that Here gave us many of the superstitions and traits we associate with vampires even today. Though, of course, Stoker's Dracula and Renaud's Nosferatu have been arguably even more influential in the modern era. Like many of you, for years, I considered these myths of nocturnal, blood-sucking creatures to be nothing more than primitive fantasy, relics of bygone religions and the products of overactive imaginations. Then, many years ago, I was confronted with something I couldn't explain. A dear friend and colleague was attacked by cover of night, her blood drained from two small pricks in her neck, seemingly as she slept in her bed. Since that time, I sought her killer and stumbled upon a truth purposefully hidden for millennia. And though I haven't yet filled in all the gaps, I now believe that I have enough evidence to draw a conclusion. Vampires are not supernatural beings as the stories tell. They are as real as you or I, but as the result of a mutagenic virus, they possess abilities that I am only beginning to comprehend. I hope that you'll withhold your judgment as to my Who level of for just a few moments longer. I will present to you now the findings it's taken me decades to compile, and thanks to some new colleagues, much of these findings are taken from first-hand observation and dissection. But before we can discuss the detail, annual plan. So whether you're a novelist, a dungeon master planning your next camp, start, check out World Anvil. In my observations, the vampiric coma typically lasts about a day, and the victim almost universally awakens at night. The coma itself is certainly not a peaceful slumber. With the aforementioned symptoms, the victim appears to be in a kind of unconscious agony. It's little wonder why this is. The body undergoes numerous anatomical and physiological changes in a very short amount of time. Based on my own observations, pulse and breathing become erratic. The pupils dilate, the skin sweats profusely, and significant weight is lost. Toward the end of the coma, the victim appears to be calm, and they could be mistaken for dead. There is little doubt that some unfortunate victims have been prematurely buried this way. But the victim doesn't always survive the vampiric coma. In elderly and very young victims, mortality is very high, with a majority of survivors being aged between 18 and 35 years. Many outside this range simply never wake up. For those that do survive, however, the changes are unmistakable. Victims often undergo a kind of acclimation period, characterized by confusion and paranoia, along with the physical effects of thirst and malnutrition. But this state doesn't last long. Within a day, the first signs of sanguinary manifest, and these newly transformed vampires are a danger to anyone close to them. The mutagenic change- Fuck, dude, have you ever seen Interview with the Vampire? That was a good-ass movie. Dude, I'm gonna get- I'm totally gonna get copyrighted if I watch James Rolfe, dude. He's so gay about that. So kill them with regular plain ass water. Plain ass yes. He's gonna take you back to the PS. I love the Jersey accent. To play these fuck shitty games that suck yes yes. <laughs> um, brown electrons. This guy is probably the best troll. This guy trolls. This guy has the best freaking videos about James Rolfe, dude. So good. Like that, I don't. I don't agree with this. I don't agree with this. I don't agree with that. I don't like that. That even for a hard like hat. Like, come on. That's a. This that fucking tease. Fuck that. They were pouring obsolete games into stores, and we were still buying them. No. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> I'm gonna get copyrighted so hard, guys. Dr. Faustus. It's a movie? It's a book. It's a movie. <laughs> uh, skip to 1211 in that vampire video. Okay, 1211. 
gives the vampire vastly superior night vision, though at the cost of severe sensitivity to light. This seems as good as... Our eyes contain arrays of specialized receptor cells. Some only activate when they see light and shadow in conjunction. Some activate Can only when they see, see horizontal this? lines, yeah. horizons, and so on. In vampires, the re receptors that respond to horizontal lines are cross-wired with those that respond to vertical ones. When both sets of receptors are fired simultaneously in a very specific way, that is, when intersecting right angles occupy more than 30 degrees of visual arc, positive feedback seems to generate a neuroelectrical overload in the visual cortex. This overload can lead to violent seizures, though in my testing, only in specific situations. When the virus first appeared, likely a millennia ago, this glitch caused few problems for vampires. After all, is right angles... Science? Nature, yeah, I don't know Euclidean what this is. Architecture was likely millennia in the future. It's Maybe he, like, looked up a book about vampire biology. Seems probable that no once idea. humans began constructing buildings, vampires Found it Do I send some the resentment towards James? Simple geometry. It's possible <laughs> that the vampiric plague went into. Yeah, I feel like James and uh, uh, motherfucker Mike had like a rough kind of split. Remission. In more modern times, however, I believe that HVV is making a resurgence. How is this possible? I'd rather have a ubiquity of right angles. Again, I must reference my own testing. My it appears that vampires have developed the ability to selectively focus, <laughs> keeping certain elements in the background. I would much rather that than listen to this bullshit. Right angles only presented a visual overload when it was. I'd threat. rather eat the rotten asshole. <laughs> I would la I would rather eat the rotten asshole of a road killed skunk than listen to this fucking shitty ass band <laughs> than to listen to James James Rolf's shitty fucking music. He'd rather have a bunch of cash than keep on playing games that suck ass. Yeah, he's making money though, so uh, hey, good for him. I mean, I'm not gonna hate on that. He'd rather be a stupid meme. He's so past his private, he's not even funny. <laughs> He'd rather have a bunch of cash. <laughs> yeah. He has two kids. And he has no time for his YouTube channel anymore. So he lets the fat guy from the video rental videos do all the writing. That's why the, ep the new angry video game episodes are so bad. These are my earliest memories. When I was four, the threat of being put back in the diapers for bedwetting or accidents was the most humiliating thing I could imagine. Eight years later, I entered puberty with recurring wet dreams in which a beautiful woman usually a cross between Elizabeth Montgomery and Bewitched. Who's that? And... Hello, you piece of shit. Can you stop doing that? And Barbara Eden in I Dream of Jeannie, either of whom had the power to turn into a baby, was putting a diaper on me. I always climax and woke up just at that moment. She was fastening the diaper shut. <laughs> at first i thought i had wet the bed interesting so what these cartoons gave the guy like so this cartoon gave him like diaper fetish Yeah, I don't know. I mean, back then, um, you know, it was the story of the stork, right? Where they were like, oh, the stork brought you over. So I don't know. Maybe it was repress, repression. I don't know why there were so many, so many diaper stuff. I mean, well, back in the day, cartoons were for little kids. You know what I mean? Like cartoons were literally for like four-year-old, two-year-olds or any, any as early as you could like watch. This is pretty base though. I can't save it, damn it. I'll just favorite it. But um yeah, back then cartoons were for kids. It's only nowadays that they make adult cartoons. Uh you know, like anime or like Batman the Killing Joke, which is a little bit more serious. <clears throat> that's a, that's like a really modern thing. Like back in the day, cartoons were only for babies pretty much. So I guess it makes sense that they would have a bunch of diapers in it. You know, if you're a little kid watching this, you know, you're used to your mom and all that. And who else is watching the cartoon with the kids? It's the mom, right? Mom's at home watching, you know, mom's at home doing whatever she's doing. She turns on the TV, some cartoons for the kids. You know, 
So like back then, the target demographic for kids was like, for the the target def- demographic for cartoons back in this era, which was what the '60s and '70s was like kids and moms. I feel that's my explanation. I I feel like that makes sense to me, but I don't know. That's just postulation. I'm just postulating. Read the description. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, dude. He developed a diaper fetish from watching these shows. They turned him into a baby? What the fuck? I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, like, uh, I, I used to watch this stuff as a kid as well. Um, I mean, I never developed the diaper fetish, but if you feel like it's bad for you, then definitely don't watch it, you know, because it's different for everybody. So if you feel like this kind of show is giving you negative thoughts, then definitely avoid it if you can, for sure, dude. Just because I don't think it's bad doesn't mean it isn't. It might be bad for you. And if it's bad for you, then definitely stop watching it for sure. <clears throat> um, back in 2008, the Nostalgia Critic and AVGN were at each other's throats. It's fake rivalry. Yeah, I remember that. And one time AVGN reviewed a bad movie while Nostalgia Critic, Critic played a bad game. I remember that. Those were good times, man. Do you think the people who made these cartoons did it on purpose and they try to give people diaper fetishes on purpose? It's possible. Um, I mean... <clears throat> it's possible because remember the uh wait the rescuers tits there were like tits in the middle of the rescuers subliminal boob in the rescuers so this was a movie that came out it was a disney movie you know and we have donald duck in here so this is disney so as you can see they put tits in the movie so i think it's definitely possible that this stuff was on purpose that they were trying to fuck with kids and give them weird fetishes, and they were doing it subliminally. It's possible. It is possible. I will say that I have seen these episodes. I remember seeing that episode of that older guy being turned into a baby. I remember watching that as a kid, actually. I remember that. But I never developed any kind of diaper fetish. But, I mean, I am kind of perverted now, so... Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe you're totally right. Maybe I didn't develop a diaper fetish, but I developed some other kind of fetish. You know what I mean? So, I mean, you never know what's going to happen or what kind of fetish will, will develop because there's so many kinds, right? <clears throat> so, I don't know, man. I think you ha- you're onto something. They could have totally done it on purpose. I mean, look at this shit. This shit's fucked up. When was this movie? The Rescuers? This was like early 90s or late 80s. nineteen seventy seven dude yeah so yeah this was back during the same era that this video you showed me is so is this the video good machines here comes the bod i can't find it who the fuck is this guy who the hell is bod here comes bod bod here comes bod Bored's a fucking cunt, mate. Um, the AVGN and Nostalgia Critic feud. That was such a classic feud. It was great. Up in the air and catch it, says Bod. Watch me. <clears throat> Nostalgia Critic had his own theme. He'd rather have a crocodile pin him down and suck on his cock. He'd rather eat a pile of shit and flush it down with rolling rock. That's good, man. Nostalgia Critic had his own theme. Here comes Aunt Flo. Uh, who has a diaper fetish? <laughs> the guy from this video has a diaper fetish over here. In the description. These are the earliest memories when I was four. The threat of being put back into diapers for bedwetting or accidents was the most humiliating thing I could think of. Eight years later, I entered puberty without, with recurring wet dreams in which a beautiful woman... Um, either of whom had the power to turn into a baby was putting a diaper on me. So uh, the guy who posted this video developed a diaper fetish from watching this. He would dream about women putting diapers on him and he would come. (laughs) 
He dreamed of Elizabeth Montgomery putting diapers on him, and then he would come from that, basically. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to watch. Who is Elizabeth Montgomery? Damn, dude, she's fine as fuck, actually. <clears throat> Bruh, yeah, I'm I'm into this. Uh, <laughs> or who else? Barbara Eden? Who's this? Nice dude. Um So many people seem to have had the same problem. It's different when you're too young to realize how it this is bad. I mean, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, you know, the the they put tits. They put literal fucking tits in the rescuers. Come on. This is not like, oh no, it's just you you it just looks like tits. You you don't you're just, you know, pretending or you're just overthinking it. You're just overthinking it, dude. That's not real. You're just overthinking it. Number one, this is real. You can watch the original movie from nineteen seventy seven and it's real. But um like, this is real, but this isn't, like, a fake thing. Like, the really fucked up thing about it is that the woman's face is completely scratched off. The woman has no face. All you can see is her tits. Kind of, it's kind of demeaning. It's kind of saying women don't matter. Their faces don't matter. Their personalities don't matter. All that matters is their tits. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up when you think about it. Um... So, yeah, I would say there are perverts in Disney that are trying to fuck with kids, 100%. Uh, I 100% agree with that. It's like subliminal messaging made to sexualize our culture, 100%. That does exist. It's hard to find because it's subliminal, but I, I would 100% I would agree with that. They're trying to sexualize our culture because sex sells, and if we're all thinking about sex all the time, then it's going to be very easy to sell to us. You know what I mean? Oh, look, that movie has a sexy person in it. I'm going to watch it. Oh, this music video has a sexy person in it. I'm going to watch it. Oh, that advertisement for cigarettes has a sexy girl smoking cigarettes. I'm going to smoke some cigarettes now. Oh, the sexy girl drinking a beer. You know what I mean? So, yeah, 100%. <clears throat> 100% they're doing it on purpose. So, you know what, bro? You fucking nailed it. They were totally trying to do a diaper fetish here. You nailed it. Uh, Mr. Yes. Hey, bro. Welcome to the stream, man. Glad you could make it, dude. Uh, yeah, Mr. Yes joined the, 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 the discord earlier today. So it's good to see you, brother. Uh, Ricky won. Oh yeah. That was the, uh, the movie that they were making fun of. Right. I remember that. Um, fucking nostalgia critic. Now, every time I, I review one of James Rolfe's videos, I get freaking copyrighted. Hello, Barger says. The Ricky one review was good. I'm waiting for an apple I threw up in the air. The thing about fetish is that they are often yeah. illogical. Like, fetish is literally yeah. finding neutral yeah. simultaneous yeah. stimuli arousing. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So maybe it's not the show itself because yeah, it is a neutral stimuli, but it's all in your head. Possible. Possible, but also, I don't know. It's um, it's weird because of how, like, graphic some of these things are. And how often it, it was the case as well. Uh, early influences. Yeah, it, it's just crazy. <clears throat> like, the frequency. Like, there's so much of this baby stuff. Like, it happens a lot. And it it could be because these cartoons were for kids. It could be. But at the same time, these kids were like four years old. These kids were not in diapers anymore. So, I don't know, man. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird that, they, that they, they are so graphic about... It's so weird that they're putting kids' butts in the center of the screen all the time. It is kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. Um, just like how a phobia is an irrational fear. Yeah, it makes sense to me. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's that. That's also part of it. <clears throat> Fucking angry grandpa. God damn it. The only reason angry grandpa and his wife Tina got married is because he impregnated her. She was 18 and he was 32. Whoa, that's why he had such an awful relationship that finally ended in a divorce. <laughs> Whoa, dude, he like waited for her to be 18, ah. Jesus. Christmas and then you threw it all over the goddamn place. I don't want to 
want no goddamn toothless what? What's my goddamn thing? You gotta chill. I do fuck you. I want that goddamn tooth fixed. I want it fixed. Hey, I'm talking to you. You drooling. Look at your goddamn shirt. She fucking hates you this guy. You fucking oomie oomie looking motherfucker. Hey, hey, hey. Tom Brady is no more. What? Wait, what do you mean? What happened? Is he re is he retiring? He got a divorce, but nah, chill, 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 chill. I love Tom Brady. I thought I thought you meant he retired or something. I like Tom Brady. He's actually a pretty cool guy. Hello? Anybody home, Jack? Shut the fuck up, Jack Lantern. This poor lady, she fucking hates this guy so much. I, I hate him too, to be honest with you. Um, a <clears throat> hundred comments, guys. Thank you, guys. Mr. Yes, you were the 100th comment, sir. <laughs> Thank you, man. Um, it's an interesting theory. It's possible, man. After 30 years, there's the subliminals, X messaging, the sex in Lion King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yo, this girl's fucking fine, though. I'm not gonna lie. I'd probably have fantasies also. Um, wait, where's Ujube? Let's go to Ujube. Sex in the sky during during um Lion King, right? Yeah. Right. This is 1995. So they've been doing it since the 70s, all the way to 95s. Yeah, this one's kind of crazy. This one's kind of crazy with the music in the background and shit, dude. Our culture and everyday life has become so sexualized, right? And I feel like it is engineered. Um, I fear that I feel I feel and I fear that part. It's it is engineered by the movie makers of the modern era, at least by Disney. I don't trust Disney. That's why I don't trust Marvel or or Star Wars or. Even 21st Century Fox was bought by Disney now. And I just don't trust them because Disney, like, sexualizes young young children. They really do. I mean, the fucking tits in the window of the, of the rescuers. This is a dead giveaway. This is a dead... Nobody could argue against this. They're 100% putting sex in kids' shows. They 100% are. And, um, right, I think it is to... I think it is to destabilize our culture. Um, I think they are trying to destabilize our culture by using, um, you know, um, sex and uh, developing fetishes so that you're, you're, you develop anxieties, right? You can't really control your urges uh, so that you impulse, you, you buy more, you, <clears throat> you know, are more mentally unstable. And so then you really, you need government more. You start voting for more government. You need more protection. You need more of this. You need more of that. You become more of a consumer. Oh, I'm, I'm unstable because of all the sex and media. So I need more things to help me, you know? They don't want people to be self-sufficient. They don't want that. They want us to rely on them for more movies, for more services. That's why technology pisses me off, too, because it just does too much stuff that we don't ever want to do things on our own anymore. Um, Tom Brady is no more. I mean, people find pretty women and handsome men attractive. You don't call that a fetish. You must find out your woman or men. You, you just find out you find women or men pretty, right? He lost to Dallas. Yeah, Dallas is a good team. Dallas versus San Fran. Oof. If uh, if if Buccaneers lost to Dallas, then I gotta stay with Dallas, man. Uh, I'm a Tom Brady fan, so if Tom Brady lost, then whoever beat him has to win. So if Dallas beat Tom Brady, then Dallas better beat San Francisco. Dallas better win the whole thing, man. Dallas better win the freaking uh, what is it? It's not the World Cup, the Super Bowl. But Tina was a very resentful and spiteful woman too. She broke. AGP's mother's objects purely out of spite and she neglected her children and grandchildren as well from what I remember yeah I mean you know they're a bunch of rednecks dude what do you expect <laughs> 
Not to mention she was irresponsible with the bill money. There's subliminal messages in Aladdin, 1992. Really? Subliminal messages in Aladdin? I haven't heard of that one. Uh, I knew of the one from The Rescuers, one from The Lion King, and the one from The um, Little Mermaid. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, Teenagers Take Off Your Clothes. I remember this. Yeah, this one's crazy. Yeah, this one's crazy. This one's really crazy, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One more, one time she had to pay the light bill. Leave me alone. Down. So how's our little bow doing? Come on, good teenagers, take off your Down. Right, it says good teenagers take off your clothes. Did you hear that? Come on, good teenagers, take off your You hear that? Good teenagers take off your clothes. That's so weird, dude. Come on, good teenagers, take off your Down. Wait. Good teenagers take off your clothes. It's so weird, dude. Pen Island. <laughs> so how's our little bow doing? Come on, good teenagers take off. Come on, good teenagers take off. Good teenagers take off their clothes. Come on, good teenagers take off. In the script, what he's supposed to say is "Good kitty, take off and go." It doesn't sound like that though, right? <clears throat> right, it's a T, right? He doesn't say K, he says a T. It's supposed to say It's it's such a hard K. It's it's a K. He doesn't say Oh wait, okay, he's supposed to say kitty. Hold on. He says like good kata. It's so weird. It's so weird. It's almost like there's two audio tracks on top of each other. On good teenagers, take off. On good teenagers, take off. Right, there's a G. There's a jers. Right? He's supposed to be saying kitty. It's really weird, dude. It's really weird. Are you a Luddite? A little bit. I try to reduce the amount of technology that I need per day, you know? Like, I don't use dishwashers at all. I wash all my dishes by hands. One time she had to pay the light bill, and she spent that money on a Christmas gift and Elvis merch, so they had to spend the night without any lights, including the toddlers and grandkids. I mean, I mean, yeah, dude, that's bad, but that's why you, you know, get married first instead of just knocking up an 18-year-old because she's hot and young. You get married, get established, you fall in love, you make good money, and then you have kids. That's how you do it. Or you just have kids, and then you make money along the way. Like, you get married first. I mean, that's why you got to do that shit. I mean, this motherfucker just knocked up an 18-year-old. <clears throat> of course, they're going to, like, not be able to pay the light bill and all this fucking bullshit. That's true. Self-sufficiency isn't something they want. <clears throat> but it boils down to much more than just the size of the government. Government size depends on what you want to achieve with that power. The Super Bowl. Dallas versus Buffalo. Hell yeah. Penn Island. That's my favorite um, <clears throat> football team. <clears throat> the Penn Island Blue Waffles. I think that would be a good uh, sports team. The Penn Island Blue Waffles from Penn Island. <laughs> the Blue Waffles, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's what I'm going to name my sports team. I'm going to open up my own soccer team and I'm going to name it the Blue Waffles. Uh, do you want to talk about Jeffrey Epstein? Fuck yeah, dude. I got about 30 more minutes left so I can totally talk about it. I thought he said the N word. <laughs> Good N words. I don't know, dude. This shit's so fucking crazy. I mean,. I don't know. After I saw the tits, after this, dude, come on. After this, it's like they're 100% putting subliminal messaging in kids' shows. 100%. There's no denying that. After that, I'll believe anything. Fuck it. There's sex in the sky in Lion King. It says good teenagers take their clothes off in Aladdin. You have to go to CVS or Walmart or wherever... And you got to get condoms. You got to, you know, get candy, flowers, whatever what? the fuck. You wearing this thing yet? Good Tigger. Maybe he thought it was Tigger. The goddamn belt broke. 
Why are you wearing underwear? No! <laughs> yeah, if Mike was here, he'd be talking about the uh, Las Vegas shooter right now. Yeah, I don't know if you guys were here for the Las Vegas shooter conversation, but that was a good one, too. <laughs> and at the very oh last, least, AGT didn't abandon his kids. <laughs> but yeah, they're trailer trash, SMH. Shut the fuck like up! Aladdin <laughs> thought the tiger was Tigger. <laughs> Maybe, maybe the voice actor fucked up and thought it was Tigger. That could totally be the case. Yeah, I mean, it's just hard to tell with that one, for sure. The The only undeniable one is this one with the tits in the back and the dick behind the uh, penis behind Little Mermaid. These are the only two undeniable ones, in my opinion. Um, that there's a fucking dick in the middle of the Little Mermaid. I feel like that's on. Un this one's undeniable. That's like clearly a golden penis, you know. And what what's the subliminal messaging there? The 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 holy cock, right? Look how look how important sex is. Sex is very important to you. This is your new god. You will worship cock now. You will become gay. You will become trans. You know, or you will chop your dick off. You will, you know, you will worship sex. Sex will be the most important thing in your mind. I feel like that's what they were trying to do with this shit. Sex will become the most important thing in your mind. Look at this glowing golden penis. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so, yeah, I totally agree. You got to watch what you... You got to be careful with what you ingest, guys, in your media. You have to be careful with the movies you watch. I don't even fucking watch Disney movies at all because of this fucking bullshit right here. I literally don't watch Disney movies. Um... Uh, like I didn't finish this, this, I, I only saw the third movie in the Star Wars prequel, but I didn't watch the first two. Uh, I watched Avatar Way of the Water, but I didn't know that was Disney until later. Um, I don't watch any Marvel movies cause they're fucking Disney and I really don't like Disney because of this bullshit right here, dude. They're trying to sexualize our culture a hundred percent and who knows what other fucking weird shit. You know what I mean? Uh, Tina Dainridge, the blonde Tina who was cursing him in the seduce prank. Okay. <laughs> His neighbor. No, he just had a hernia. Penis behind the Little Mermaid. There's a penis there, dude. Uh, he looked pregnant, though. Where do you stick it in? <laughs> How do I use my penis? How are babies ah! made? I'm gonna go use the bathroom real quick. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you keep laughing, I can't do it. <laughs> you keep laughing, and I'm not doing it. Hello? Tina! Yeah. There's Grandpa! What's up? Look here! I, I, I want to know that in a little bit. Uh, can you come over so I can... I, I, I need to apologize to you for the way I acted and been being a bad neighbor and all. Can you come over? Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. All right. Uh, what? What? You're murdering your son? Well, she's a goddamn word! Are they trying to apologize? Yeah, I want to apologize, all right? Come on, man. Let's don't do this. Oh man, you can give her chocolates too. My God, I'd rather, I, I'd rather, I'd rather just goddamn. Why is he wearing an Elvis outfit? Just think how good these chocolates are gonna come in handy. She's on her period. Oh goddamn! Oh, this is this ought to be pretty well, good. Hell no! I don't kind of play y'all fucking playing. I'm. Wait. Oh, hell no. I don't kind of prank y'all was... fucking playing. I'm out of here. Tina, Tina. No! We were no. trying to prank you. We were trying to joke. Oh. Whew. He ain't really trying. fucking nervous. I can't do that, man. He ain't trying to have sex with you, Tina. Ooh, I can't do that, fat man. Woo. Oh, you're trying to prank me. Well, let me go in there and tell him I want him yeah. then. Yeah, 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 do that, do that. <laughs> yeah. That Tina's especially oh, trailer right. trash. Looking right. like Elvis. <laughs> Right. What do you think of Epstein's yeah. death? What? Um, wasn't it? Okay, I don't know if I have all the facts. I don't know if I have all the facts, but... Uh, okay, this is what I know, okay? And, I, and I've, I have not done any special research at all, okay? I know that he died in jail. I know that they had cameras on him. 
and uh, all of a sudden the camera stopped working, right? Uh, and then, and then he fucking dies, right? So, I don't know, all of that, what the fuck, dude? Jesus. All right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, okay. So the cameras, you know, there's cameras in prison, right? Because they don't want prisoners to escape. So they have to record them. Um, and all of a sudden the cameras turned off, you know, uh, and then he died during the time that the cameras turned off. That's extremely suspicious that, and then they turned right back on after he died. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's so suspicious. Like, I 100%, I 100% think he was murdered. Maybe it was because they didn't like him and they were like, you're a piece of shit. We finally got you. We're going to kill you because you, you molested a bunch of women. Or it could be, you know, Hillary Clinton is like, oh, you know way too much shit. And we can't let people know about our pedophile shit, so we gotta kill you before you talk. Um, I, I believe either of those two could be the case. Um, do I think a guard would just kill him because he was a bad person? No. There's other people in jail that are there for pedophilia, and they're still alive. So, <clears throat> did he kill himself? Uh, maybe. But if he killed himself, then like... Right, Hillary Clinton email Moloch. Yeah, okay, did he kill himself? Maybe, but then why did the why did the cameras turn off at the specific time when he killed himself and then turn back on after he killed himself? You know what I mean? Uh let's see. WikiLeaks. Yeah, yeah, there was a really weird icky leak WikiLeak about uh Hillary Clinton and Moloch. Um rabbits. Right, sacrificing a chicken to Moloch, yeah. There's an email that was sent to Hillary Clinton about sacrificing a chicken to Moloch, Jesus. Wait, WikiLeaks. Leaks. Sacrifice chicken to Moloch. Hillary Clinton, pretty crazy. Right. <clears throat> With fingers crossed, the old rabbit's foot out of the box in the attic, I will be sacrificing a chicken in the backyard to Moloch. You know. And this was an email sent to uh, Hillary Clinton from uh, Cheryl something. Cheryl. <clears throat> Where's the lady who sent it? Cheryl. Mills. Right, so Cheryl Mills sending an email to Hillary Clinton. Pretty crazy, dude. Pretty crazy that they have these emails going around talking about sacrificing chickens and shit. So, yeah. <clears throat> Who knows? Maybe Epstein knew about this Moloch shit and these guys are all worshipping the devil and they're probably fucking kids. They're probably sacrificing way more than just fucking chickens. You know, they're probably having sex orgies for their fucking weird demon gods. I don't know. Uh, you know, you have the whole Alex Jones thing about the, uh, remember that time Alex Jones did the fucking, uh, interview about the, uh, ambush interview Alex Jones. Uh, what, he interviewed that guy about the crossbone aisle or whatever? Crossbone something. They, like, got rid of it, crossbone. Where's that video where Alex Jones interviews guy about uh, Island Bohemian Grove? 
Yeah, when Alex Jones, like... The Joe Rogan experience. Right. Joe, uh, Alex Jones, Bohemian Grove. They got rid of it off of YouTube. He, like, um, he, like, surprises some guy about it. <clears throat> and he does an interview, and the guy pretty much, like, admits to, like, having this weird ceremony where they pretend to sacrifice somebody and kill them for, like, some weird statue that they have. Don't they have a picture of it? Right, they'll, they'll get, like, an altar, and they'll put somebody on the altar and shit, yeah. Right, they have like this weird statue with a bunch of people dressed up as like priests and a statue here and then they have an altar here and what they, what they do is they pretend to put somebody on here and they pretend to kill them. Um so I don't know, this is just some weird things that government is into, like the really really fucking rich people that don't talk to anybody except other rich people. <clears throat> it's really weird the shit that they're into. I wouldn't be surprised if if Epstein was in on that. I wouldn't be surprised if Hillary Clinton or these rich people killed him because he knew about this kind of shit that they're doing. Um, you know, maybe there's a bunch of high profile people that are involved in raping kids and, you know, the child trafficking of young girls or young boys even. Uh, maybe Hillary Clinton's in on it. Maybe all of them are in on it. Maybe it is demonic. I don't know. But there's a lot of loose threads, so there's nothing definitive. But at the same time. The WikiLeak is, is confirmed. That's a confirmed real email. And uh, Epstein's death was definitely assassination. So the only question at this point is why was he assassinated and who did it? Um, I feel like it wasn't just inmates. It wasn't just the guards. It was somebody with money. Um, somebody that Epstein knew that they didn't want Epstein talking about. So it was just some super rich guy. So now that we know, okay, so we know that it was some super rich guy. All right, hold on. Okay, let's make our points here, okay? Hold on, notepad. Okay, let, let's put all the notes, all right? We're going to do this logically, all right? So what do we know for a fact, okay? So we know, a okay, number one. A rich guy killed Epstein. Okay, we know that. Why? Because A, there's worse, there are worse criminals. There are worse criminals that weren't killed in jail, right? If it was just that bad people die in jail, then, you know. And he was, like, rich also, so they probably had him away from the other, from the other uh, criminals there, okay? So we know that it was some kind of order. Some rich guy gave the order, right? Some rich guy paid, you know, an assassin, you know, that works in the jail. Like, he, he paid one of the guards to kill him, basically, okay? So, why, right? Why? Uh, and it must be to shut up, to shut Epstein up about um you know other people involved shut epstein up about who was involved in the child trafficking right so it's just people that didn't want to get in trouble um and we also know that the people who epstein hung out with were all rich so it had to be a rich guy um, and what else do we know if it was one rich guy? It was probably a bunch of rich guys because they all hung out together. It was a whole ass island. So it was a, probably a bunch of rich dudes. So who is that rich? Who is so rich that they can hire an assassin, right? Who is, who is so rich they can uh, pay a guard to kill Epstein without anyone knowing? Who is that rich and who can get away with killing people and not get in trouble for it? Even if people knew about it and, you know, he could pay people to cover up for him and shit. So, so, you know, he, he would have had to one pay the assassin, right? He would have had, he would have had to one pay the assassin 
to pay off, you know, the cleanup crew that showed up that was suspicious about stuff. Pay off cleanup crew who may have been suspicious. Uh, three, pay anyone off who heard or knew about it, right? So who has that much money that they could afford all that shit, you know? It's got to be, it has to be a political person. It has to be, has to be inherited wealth. Because, like, Kanye West can't afford that, right? It has to be inherited wealth where you have money in fucking banks, in fucking assets, and all sorts of shit. So it ha- if it's inherited wealth, those are political people. So it had to be a political person or related to the political families, you know, or even banking families, you know, the Rothschilds, all that shit. Rothschilds, right? I don't know. So, yeah, that, that, that's what I think about it. <clears throat> this, is, this is what I think about the Epstein situation. It had to be somebody that could get away with it. It was too much of a coincidence that he died while the cameras were off. Somebody fucking killed him and turned the cameras off. That's what I think about it. <clears throat> yeah, it had to be somebody with inherited wealth. So the killer... Killer had to be somebody with inherited wealth. Right? Right? So they've been rich their whole lives. Their parents have been rich their whole lives. You know, that's who it had to be. That's how you can make that much money. And also, nobody's going to snitch on you because you have so much control. So it had to be somebody with inherited wealth. And who has inherited wealth but political people? Who has inherited wealth but, you know, but big political and banking families, right? That's it. So that's what I think about it. <clears throat> that's what I think about the Epstein situation. Um, but in all seriousness, he didn't kill himself. Yeah. Many Hollywood actors are pedos. Yeah, he deserved it. He definitely deserved it for sure. But it would have been better if we knew about the other pedophiles. It would have been better if we could expose the other ones. But for sure, I'm glad that's one less pedophile. Right, for sure. I remember watching an InfoWars video where he was telling the African reporter what to say and he was getting frustrated raising his voice in his earpiece for him to ask whoever he's interviewing. Telling an African what to say. Yeah. Interviewing his question. This was before he got kicked off of YouTube in 2018. I love back when it was on watching Owen Schroyer while playing Assassin's Creed 2 and I was a freshman in high school. Yeah. Good times, man. Watch this. Shut up, Stein. Um, Dildo duology. And back in 2008, Alex Jones dressed up as a Joker. What are you talking about? I'm gonna got something for your mama. In makeup, and was just banging his hands on his desk and throwing those things onto the floor. What a comic legend. You can see the same time she does. What the hell is he doing? Hey, Gina! A bunch of something. Turn the TV off. It's not a grocery bag. I can't. Shut up. What is it, chocolate? It's special when you have mom. Come here. I want some. Uh, come here. You know, I love you. I want it. Fuck that. I want a present. Uh, you've been, you know, wait, I got him filming this. Oh. Wow. You know, and this thing here, you've been hauling you ain't really been getting fully satisfied lately. Huh? So, I found you something I want to give it to you. Ew. Open it up. I'm proud of that. What is this? God what is it? Did you get that thing? What is it? <laughs> it's a yard sale. A yard sale? Five dollars, man. Was it from Avatar? <laughs> it, 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 it's supposed to make your mama happy. Happy my ass? You know where that thing could have been? I ate soap and water, cleans it. You didn't really get it from a yard I sale. I swear to God, I did. Bought a yard sale, five dollars. Ew, who the fuck was giving this away at their yard sale? <laughs> I think I got a deal. Does it work? Yeah, yeah, I'm lost in it. Look at that little lady there, boy. Now you know what I could do to you. Oh, no. Oh, man, that's nasty. You know what else it does? What the fuck was that? It pulsates. It's shaking so hard to damn shit's falling. Look at that little motherfucker there. It's there. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here. 
I bought it for you because I love you. That's disgusting. Well, he's a real fat. Hey, get that out of my fucking face. See how you see yeah. how you like it. It's your turn it. Try no. it. Try it. Don't I say have you fuck. Did. Yeah, he got her a vibrator for his for her birthday, I guess. <laughs> you goddamn! I'll buy you something. That's how you treat me. Oh well, shit! You want me to use something? You use some some. But I wash it. Probably from wall. I have put a little Clorox on it. Yeah, Clorox. Ew, it's fucking it. you. You motherfucker. That's disgusting. I went away from it. I mean, I went right in there. No, you don't. Come on, baby. We we. You know you want it. Uh uh, get that away. Come on, everybody. Hey. Oh my god. <laughs> you know you want it. Come on, baby! Whoa! You're fucking nasty. Bend you guys are so fucking gross, dude. I, I fucking hate Angry Grandpa so much. <laughs> He's growing on me, though. I'm not gonna lie. He's been growing on me. I gotta get the hell out of here, dude. Let's get the hell out of here. Whoa! <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm so dead. See ya. I am out of here. Oof, I made it somehow. Jesus. That was crazy, dude. Um, skip to where in, they're in the shower with it. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Lord, help me. Hey, Tina, you want to go for a ride? Bend over, I'm driving. Sales. I swear to God, I did. Look at the hair on it. Who would tell? This is so gross, dude. Speaking of guarding your your senses and not watching degenerate shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's bug spray. I mean, at least you know that these guys aren't like doing anything subliminal. It's not. It's not like they're trying to trick you into something. They're not, you know, these, they're really, these, at least angry grandpa is just people having fun. Maybe they're degenerates. Maybe they're fucking dumbasses. Maybe they're extremely stupid. But at least they're not any subliminal hidden messages that they're trying to fuck with your head. At least we know that, you know. I'll give them that much. So it's not cool. like Disney where they try to sneak in messages. All right. All right. Is he using yeah, it in anybody? the shower or something? Yeah. Man, boy, show me your fucking eye. I don't know. What the hell? What's he doing? Well, goddamn, we both fat. We trying to fit this fucking tub. What are you doing? Oh, shut up. This shit is goddamn fat. I got something for you really right here. <laughs> I got something for you right here. Huh. Oh, that's weird. Motherfucker, pause me. Using it in the bath in the shower. Are you naked right now? 
Don't you goddamn walk away from me! Ew, dude, he's what like following you. Think <laughs> He's so fat. You go away. <laughs> you better go, bro. Don't you got a goddamn home? Oh, what? I will stick this up your goddamn ass. You... Me and no lady have no fun. You gonna come in there? Yeah, go, it's fine. I tell you one goddamn thing. Dude, he's Get so gross, dude. Yeah, he's yeah, horrible. This gotta stop. This has gotta stop. You gotta go back. I'm done. I ain't going back in there. Yo, I'll show you some. I am not going back in there. Good fucking friend. <laughs> I've had enough of you. <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> He's just following him. <laughs> God. You goddamn piece of shit. I want to see through the crack. Reminds me of an older Ethan Ralph. You Who's that? Is he just some fat guy? <laughs> Open the goddamn door! I'm gonna stick this dildo up your ass! Ew. Ew, you think you like that? Oh, man. Oh, man. God damn it! Oh, what? I saw his big fat ass and he farted! Oh, God! You <laughs> deserve that fart! <laughs> Who is Ethan Ralph? This guy? Yeah, he looks just like him, actually. He looks like Angry Grandpa's son. That's pretty disgusting, bro. <laughs> Ethan Gra Grandpa dies. Any way you can come over here today, man. Fuck, dude. Um, they had a 14-year age gap. He was around 60 and she was 46. Christ. Ethan Ralph is the guy that got beaten up in Portugal. What? Holy shit, dude. Portugal? What happened? Portugal? I don't think I saw that. I don't think I heard about that. Gets another beating in Portugal. Holy shit, dude. Don't fuck around in Portugal, I guess. Yo, what up, Samari? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. What do you mean he got beat up in Portugal? Oh shit, there goes my work alarm. What are you coming out before you were a little dickhead? You fat little gun shit. Yeah, that's right, bleeding. Look at you. Fuck you, bitch. Fast our days, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Sweet. You think I'm scared? Hey, you got a massive lump on your face. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. What happened? I'm drunk. I think I may drink more and yell the N-word on Omegle. That sounds like a really fun time, actually. Press it. Nah, we're too public right now. Hey, what's up, bitch? Hey, Dick, how you doing? Hey, what's up, bitch? What are you doing, bitch? Get the fuck out of my face, bro. Get the fuck out of my face. Fuck you, friend. Shit. Cunt. I didn't even know they spoke English in, in Portugal. Damn, he got his oh, ass beat, shit. dude. Yeah, that's right, bleeding. Look at you. Fuck you, bitch. Fast star days, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Sweet. You think I'm scared? Hey, you got massive lump on your face. I don't give a fuck. What the hell? I look like a fucking. What the hell? Why? What? What? Why? Why did they just beat his ass like what that? Yeah, Dad, let's go get some fucking smoke. I'm policing this guy. Yeah, whatever. Shut up, mate. Are you really going again? Why do they hate this guy? What did he do? Why you square? Don't turn your fat cunt. You fat cunt. Bitch, freak. We're walking away. Now fuck off. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. We're walking away. Walk away, or I love you. Walk away, or I love you. Walk away. Walk away, you fat cunt. Oh no, big bitch. Jesus. Dude, this is savage, bro. Wow, what in the world? How did I not hear about this? All right, so, all right, here's the scoop. The guy that got beaten down was beaten up and mugged in Portugal a couple of months back because of his big mouth, so he decided to go back. And when a YouTuber he doesn't like joked that he might take a trip there, at the same time, Ralph dared him on Twitter and said that if he did and if he saw him, he'd beat his ass. So the kid filming called Cog. His chat donated for him to go and see if he'd be able to find Ralph. And shit talk him in real life while he found him. And when Ralph's chat informed him, Cog was, this is a fucking awesome story. 
Cog was following him live streaming. He thought it'd be a good idea to go and confront him, not realizing Cog had a friend with him. So Ralph got his in Cog's face and pushed him. Cog's friend proceeded to throw hands. And this was the result. If you're not if you've not heard of Ethan Ralph before, maybe check out his Kiwi Farm and start. He's a complete degenerate piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean he looks like it. He's fucking huge. Why is he so fucking fat? God. It's it's not it's it's really not okay to be that fat. That's way too huge. Ralph said it a few times. He was going out there. He was obviously joking and he had made plans. Okay, I see. That was a good <laughs> You openly brag on Kiwi Farms and have the nerve to call others degenerate piece of shit. That's unironically hilarious. True. I have a George Floyd mask. Nice, dude. Yeah, I tried to buy one. I, I tried to buy the uh, George Floyd vape. <laughs> oh, man. Sweet. That's really funny. What's up, Mr. Bag Noodles? Welcome to the stream. What are we watching? We're watching this fat guy get his ass kicked on the streets of Portugal. <laughs> He got his ass kicked because he had some drama with another YouTuber and the YouTuber fucking found him. That's crazy that he actually found him. I guess it's not that hard to find him because if you're watching his live stream, you can find him pretty easily. Metacore covered this. Okay. Raph is five foot. <laughs> He's like this tiny little fat guy. This poor woman is just watching this and she's so confused trying to break this up. If your weight is larger than your IQ, something's wrong. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the occasional prostate tickle. I mean, that's actually true. Cog is six foot nice. Yeah, he fucked him up. British. British. Oh, he can't fight me, you boy, you bloody wanker. You bloody one car, you're not gonna do a damn thing to me, alright? You're not gonna do a damn thing. You understand? Do you understand me, you fucking one car? You come around here again, and I'm gonna beat you to bloody pulp. I'm gonna beat you to a bloody pulp. Alright? <laughs> My British accent sucks. I can do a better Australian accent than a British. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I have a prostate massager. I think it's important to keep your maintain your prostate health, guys. Um, I don't have any sexual gratification from it whatsoever, but I do like to maintain my prostate. I want to make sure that I don't, you know, get any kind of weird prostate diseases. <laughs> um... Yeah, that was fucking crazy, actually. Sweet! Oh, gosh. I have a George Floyd mask. What is all this? What is this? And what is this? Batman versus Mad Hatter. Purely medical. 100%. Purely medical, guys. I don't just shove any... I don't, I don't just shove anything up my ass, but when I do, it's purely medical. Dr. Faustus. What's all this? Batman versus Mad Hatter disguised as Batman? You're not well, Mr. Wayne. Yes? That's because reading is a function of the right side of the brain, while dreams come from the left side. It's impossible to read something in a dream. Well, or merely part of someone's dream. <laughs> that was just the question Tweedledee put to Alice in Through the Looking. This isn't some silly storybook. Ah, but it is. <laughs> what the fuck am I watching right now? Oh, that's so good. This is a great prank, dude. Somebody did this to my roommate, uh, to one of my friends in college, and he got so pissed. I guess. Just, we'll drop it down and tape it to the floor. Wait, when does he come through it? I want to see him go through. Just push on it!
work anymore. I don't give a damn what I got now. I don't need. I don't give a damn what I want. Come on, mom. Come on, back the fuck up. Motherfucker. She's trying to get it to work. Tell me to stop. God. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> you dirty bastard. The fuck you trying to do to me? Have I seen the Joker IRS clip? No. I was asking my third grade teacher if she ever had a prostate exam since I watched that Family Guy episode about Peter's prostate. And she told me only men have prostates. That's fucking awesome, dude. Your teacher's base, bro. Uh, Wait, what is this? Joker IRS clip? I'm not sure what that is. Hold on. Joker will take on the IRS? Seven million. Yes, and if I don't pay up, I'll go to jail for tax evasion. <laughs> I'm crazy enough to take on Batman, but the IRS, no, thank you. But the IRS, no. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. Uh, not even the Joker is that evil. <laughs> not even he wants to mess with the IRS. Batman, whatever. <laughs> That was a good one, but Dan from Dan versus Wood. Hmm. I don't know which one did it. Oh god damn. That that shit. Oh god. Me. <laughs> I love how they're just so used to this. Like, these people are just so used to the nastiest shit. Dildos, getting attacked by dildos, getting shit on your fridge. That's just a normal day for these guys, bro. <laughs> this is Alabama for you, okay? This is America. So, Grandpa thinks he's getting his income tax in. <laughs> Fake IRS audit. Why would they audit him? He makes like $20,000 a year. <laughs> Ah, shit. Alrighty, guys. I do have to start wrapping the stream up, though. Thank you guys for watching the stream. I do appreciate you guys. Uh, I do have to go to work, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah. Um, I, uh, I stream every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time, guys. So I will be back next Tuesday. I hope to see y'all here. Please like and subscribe. Um, you know, y'all can send me videos or recommend anything and I'll react to it. I'm so glad I am anti-social retard. I would be the West Virginian. King Cobra JFS. Who's that? Watch some of that, though. What, of this guy shitting on the freaking... Oh, my God. What is this, dude? Oh, no. YouTube. What do you call a herd of clever animals that live in Australia? Kangaroos. Get it, clever ruse. That's so bad. How does this guy get more? How does this guy have more subscribers than me, dude? I am a failure, dude. He doesn't know about Cobes. <laughs> how does this guy have more subscribers and more views than I do? <laughs> the the origin story. <laughs> oh no. So how did the pirate quit cigarettes? I with a nicotine patch. Oh no. This guy's this guy's even funnier than I am. Dude, my career is fucking over, dude. Walking to the kitchen sandwich. I do not know about this guy now. Wait, oops. Walking to the kitchen challenge. <laughs> What, is he so fat that he can't walk to the kitchen? Oh, no. I do not know about this guy. What the hell is all this shit, dude? Adonis Paul every Thursday, Saturday, and Friday. Yeah, sure. Yeah, dude. 
You can get you can go ahead and post him in the uh, original content uh, link in the Discord. But um, but yeah, guys, I do appreciate y'all hanging out. Uh, thanks a lot. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Have hope you guys have a great week. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, the Boglim Chronicles. Holy Christ! How does this guy have more views than me? Seriously. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for hanging. I hope you guys have a re- a great rest of your uh, week. God bless you guys. I love y'all. Thanks for hanging out uh, and making the stream what it is. Ha- I had a great time. I'll see if I can get Zeka back next weekend. I know you guys were pretty interested in seeing her. So uh, I'll see if she'll come back next weekend to hang out. Guys, y'all take care of yourselves. It's a crazy world. Guard your senses. Guard your eyes. Guard your ears. Guard. Make sure you pick good people to hang out with, guys. Uh, And, yeah, love y'all. Thanks a lot for hanging out. I will see you guys next Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Peace.